ரஹ்மானிர்வஹீம் ரபி அஸ்ஸிர் வலா து அஸ்ஸிர் வ தம்மிமில் ஹைர் ரபி ஜித்னி இல்மா அஸ்லாம் வலைக்கும் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ ஆல் ஐ ஹோப் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஆர் இன் குட் ஹெல்த் அண்ட் இமான் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு த ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் அவர் லெக்சர் நம்பர் ஃபைவ் ஸோ பிஃபோர் ஸ்டார்டிங் அவர் லெக்சர் லெட் மீ ரிமைண்ட் யூ தட் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஸ்டே ஹோம் அண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஸ்டே சேஃப் அண்ட் கீப் யூர் ஒர்க் ரெகுலர் அண்ட் ஆஃபர் யூர் பியர்ஸ் ரெகுலர்லி கீப் தட் இன் யூர் மைண்ட் ஓகே ஸோ கிராப் யூர் புக்ஸ் and let's start our lesson number 14 which is talking an antelope so today lecture 5 objectives are exercise a including meaning in context exercise b including mcqs and then word sentences now let's move to the lesson number 14 which is talking an antelope this passage has been taken from the book vanishing peoples of the earth and the writer is the elizabeth marshall thomas now moving to the pk texting sorry testing so now tell me then what is the setting of the story so in the setting of the story location is kalahari forest very good and what are the characters yes there were three characters three main characters which are guy writer and her brother very good now tell me uh, the plot of the story in the shortest way yes okay very good yes kalahari people believe that the woman is the symbol of what of a bad luck so they don't bring them on the hunting but uh, guy thought that elizabeth was uh, is not um, from africa so she is not a symbol of bad luck so she bring in her brother to the hunting with himself yes so now uh, what you have learned from this uh, passage Yes we have learned that they don't give the women their rights so what should we do Yes we should treat all people equally according to the teachings of Islam You have already know that um in the past uh, when Islam was not there uh, people treat a woman uh, very badly islam uh, gave the importance and the valuable importance to the woman so we should uh, treat each and every person whether they are women whether they are men whether they are a uh, child we should uh, give them their rights according to the teachings of islam now moving to the exercise a meaning in context pick out words from the passage which mean the same as the following so here are the synonyms uh, of those words which you have read in the passage so they will tell you uh, the synonym and also i will tell you in which paragraph uh, it is mentioned and then we will pick out that uh, sig- uh, significant word of that synonym from that paragraph so the first word is takes into one's arms so uh, the that significant word is present in paragraph number 2 as you can see in the picture it is hugging her she is hugging her brother so the meaning is from paragraph number 2 is embraces very good the next word is a practice which once custom forbids forbids mean stop so this um, the significant word is present also in um, paragraph number 2 so that word which shows which forbid forbids is the taboo Okay so the next word is wild animals so the significant word is present in the paragraph number 3 wild animals look at the picture yes that word from the paragraph number 3 is wild creature very good are you finding that words with me very good now come to the next one a container for carrying arrows it is in paragraph number 3 look at the picture yes you know the answer the answer is quiver very good next is long and thin in the paragraph number 3 so it was uh, mentioning long and thin about she was mentioning long and thin about the forest uh, so maybe it was a bamboo forest because bamboos are long and thin so like a spindle so the answer will be 
spindle okay now moving to the next one a momentary view we have done this yesterday look at the picture the answer is glimpse very good now moving to the next word moved gently look at the picture yes he is moving very gently very um, uh, politely so the that significant word is present in paragraph number 5 let's find it yes the answer is crouching very good next word is split off the significant the significant word is present in paragraph number 6 let's find it yes that word is splintered very good next one is remove this is present in the paragraph number 7 look at the last line on the page number 66 the first word yes the answer is dislodge very good you are doing really very good now come to the last part that which counteracts poison that uh, vanishes the poison what are they it is mentioned in paragraph number 8 and we have also learned it yesterday yes look at the picture the answer is antidote very good class now we have done our exercise a part 1 now let's move to the part 2 so what is the part 2 explain the meaning of these words as used in the passage so in the first paragraph you have learned the word chico it means only for men male thing for men next word is might be exempt from it means probably free from come to the next one tract in silence the meaning of tract is hiked so the answer will be hiked quietly shouldered in a quiver so uh, he put all the arrows and the bows in the container which is called quiver so the answer will be shoved in the container for carrying arrows moving to the next one explain uh, the running in a crouch so he was sitting near to sitting not standing nor sitting not uh, standing neither sitting he was in between sitting and the standing so he was running and moving quietly so running in crouch means moving gently to tell of the wind so he was trying to find the direction so the answer will be to find the direction of wind the last word is fanned out so what is the meaning of fanned out look at the picture here are um, many arrows and they are uh, try they are uh, their um, heads are in different directions but they are originating from a same common point so this type of thing this type of direction and movement is called fanned out so the answer will be moved out in all directions from common center now moving to the next his stride lengthened look at this woman she is um, uh, running with a great speed and great pace so the answer will be his pace prolonged and gain speed is also pace increased last one is take effect it is about a poison so the meaning of will be act on so this was your exercise b uh, exercise a part 2 now moving to the word sentences so your first word is fanned out maybe you have uh, the picture of these arrows in your mind so let's make a sentence i'll make one for you his arrows fanned out fastly so you can also make sentences write those sentences on the rough copies and uh, show them to your parents and your tutors um, uh, for the mistakes and write your own sentence next is embraces now let's make one for you soldier embraces his death like a gift you can make your own glimpse uh, a moment a momentary view so the sentence will be 